Wrinkles are like boomerangs. Just when you think you've got rid of them, they come back. Now you can finally stop the boomerang effect. Nivea Visage Q10 Plus reactivates the skin's natural repair process to visibly repair and prevent wrinkles naturally. Anti-wrinkle Q10 Plus. Only from Nivea Visage. Welcome back. Debate 07 continues. Uh, Honorable Dinga, we now get questions from the countryside, and I have with me an email here uh, from uh, Paul Bitok. What about party democracy? Imra Ilo Dinga will see to the end of party democracy, having in mind that you have a record of defections, and as president, you may make history by defecting from your own political party. Yes, I have not defected. I have resigned rather than defected. I resigned from Port Kenya over the issue of Goldenberg uh, and I joined uh, NDP and I also resigned my seat in Parliament and I went and contested uh, in a by-election and was elected by uh, my people. So what I'm trying to talk about is that we are now building political parties that are going to be anchored on clear ideological foundations. Now, uh, besides the factions, there are other aspects of your political style that are questioned openly by a lot of your critics. Let's just go to Mombasa and get a question from Sam. Ayla claims to be an advocate of democracy. And uh, it is funny that Nyanza he is not democratized. He has, there is nobody, no MP, no leader in, in, in Nyanza, Luo Nyanza especially, and question Raila. Sir, so, guilty as charged? Minas, my political base is not Luo Nyanza. My political base is Nairobi. That, that's where I am. I'm the only cosmopolitan politician among all those who want to buy for the presidency. <laughs> so what happened with Nyanza is not none of my business. But you have a, you're not denying you've got a grip on Nyanza and uh, what you say politically <coughs> goes in that question. It's not that I've got a grip. See, the news just like other com com communities of Kenya are very independent people as you know, and they're very critical. They will not just follow you blindly. The mere fact that they have trust and confidence is actually a credit to me that they see me as somebody who is straightforward, who is dedicated, who is committed. But do they enjoy democracy? Do they elect the MPs they want, or do they elect MPs that Raila would prefer? Not really, Lenas. Look at it this way. In the last uh, elections, 60% of members of parliament who were there in the 8th parliament lost. Uh, on, on, only 40% only retained their seats. So Lewis are very independent. You know, the, the turnover of members of parliament is higher than in Nyanza relative to other parts of, of the country. I'm certain there are many people even in the audience here who would like to raise questions uh, with regard to your democratic credentials. Uh, let's go to the audience again. The gentleman will do. <coughs> Okay, first of all, I must uh, congratulate you for exposing a lot of evils of the government of the day. And now, in connection with that, the only way one can know that something fun is going to happen within a country like those two uh, boys who are within is if you have a foreign connection or some, you know, some, yeah, foreign connection or intelligence, yeah? And it's a plus. So you have foreign connections. And it's a plus, definitely, if you have you. when you're not in the government. Now, if you become the president, are you going to maintain them? And is it going to be advantageous to the poor of Kenya? Thank you very much. So, do you have foreign connections? Winners and uh, the gentleman, Kenya is part and parcel of the globalized world. This world has become very, very small. Uh, and therefore, we, we cannot isolate ourselves. I have friends. And I would even like to make more friends internationally. I think we need other countries in terms of, for example, trade, 
in terms of education, cultural exchange and so on. So I make friends for the benefit of the people of Kenya. Okay, the major end Thank you, Honorable. My name is Joanne, and I have a question regarding refugees in Kenya. Kenya has been the host country for very many refugees for a long time, and whereas the living standards are very wanting, if you look at, uh, for example, Kakuma and the Dab, it's, it's very it's heartbreaking to see what those people go through. So, should you be elected as president, what are you going to do? What measures are you going to take to ensure that these refugees' social needs are met adequately? Thank you. Well, you see, uh, I have also been a refugee uh, in the past. I was under UNHCR, and uh, they treated me very humanely and gave me a passage to Norway. So I know what it means to be a refugee. It's a life of deprivation. And most people don't want to be refugees. They have been forced by circumstances in their home countries to flee and become refugees. We need to make their life livable. And, and this is what we will do as a government. Minor Kerry. Honorable Raila, uh, the question I have is about inequality in our society. This country is, is the mo one of the most unequal so, uh, in, in terms of income gap between the rich and the poor. We seem to have two laws, one for the rich, where they can go to Motega Club or, Car or current country club and drink to excess when they drink the whiskey. But if you're a poor man, you drink Chang'a, you're going to be arrested and put into cells. And there's a huge discordant between the way people, people are treated and the rich people are treated. Now, one of the things that, that, that disturbs me is the fact that uh, the top echelon of public service in this country is one of the best paid. It's actually in the top, if you look at the Human Development Index of the United Nations, Kenya is number 152 out of 177. We are really low. But our top play players, including MPs, ministers, president, in fact, uh, and, and higher officials, including myself, uh, are in the top 10 of, of, the, of the income they get from, from the state. What would you, if you became the president, would you be willing to look at the divergence there because the gap between the top civil servant and the other civil servants is enormous, is enormous in this country. Would you be willing to look at the salary structures of public service, begin a process that, 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 that equalizes or, or, or does some equity between all the branches of government? We have a situation where parliament is able to make its own salary and in a sense we have people who are employed by us because it's our money setting their own salaries. And you say you're a businessman and I'm sure in your businesses you will not let your staff sit down and, and sit down and make their own, their own pay. But that's what happens to us today. We know MPs want to stay in, 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 in Parliament so they can increase and get a pension. And I wonder how you see all this, all this issue, given the inequalities that are there in this country. My yeah. I know I am uh, a social democrat uh, uh, by uh, a diligent conviction. And I believe very strongly in uh, equity in terms of distribution of resources in our country. And I say that uh, it is this uh, very uh, distorted system that we have perpetuated since colonialism, because we inherited a very uh, distorted system where you had the, the stop apex earning so how much, and then the people down on the 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 the, the scale were very poor. Right now, you find people planting figures that the economy is growing at six point. 2 or 3 percent per annum. In the club, they tell this is very good. This is very good. Now, when, when, you you know, mention, when you mention that you are a social democrat, and that when you go ahead and talk about wealth distribution, there are people and critics of, uh, who, who have linked you to a communist past. Uh, what would you like to say about that? First, I was never a communist at all. I've always been a social democrat, and I've never changed. But let me get back to my inner question. Yes, I will take measures to uh, uh, reduce the disparity that exists in terms of income within the public service, for example. I, don't, I find it um, uh, 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 horrible that uh, a public secretary will be earning three to four times more than the, 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 the next level in the civil service. Uh, and, and even the mem members of parliament, I, I have been an opponent of these increases on Thank salaries. You know, if we could just quickly take another question from the audience. When this uh, comes up for the